Hi folks, uh, this video is, I don't know, maybe the fifth or sixth video in a series of vector videos that we've been doing lately. And um, this one's just about adding vectors. We're going to talk about the head to tail method and also the parallelogram method. My favorite method is the head to tail method. That's the first one shown here. And let's just do one together here. Find the resultant vector using the head to tail method. Suppose we had two vectors that looked like the following. Here they are. There's vector u and vector v. Let's say we're asked to add up these two vectors, u plus v, vector u plus vector v. So I'm going to take this vector u, and if you were drawing it, you would just draw something very close to what you see there, just kind of draw it on paper. That would be vector u. I'll put it right, I don't know, right there. And then over here, I would I would do vector v, which is uh, right over here. And I'm going to do this head to tail vector method. And what I'm going to do is draw something called a resultant vector. The resultant vector is drawn at the, from the beginning until the end. So that's why they call it from head to tail. And I'm going to draw that in right there. And this line in red here is called our resultant vector. And we can just label it vector u plus vector v. And I guess I should have labeled these vectors here. And that's basically the head to tail method, okay? You just do them in order that you're given them. And then you draw a line from the beginning until the end. And this is called the resultant vector. In case you didn't hear me clearly, I'll just write that word there. This is the resultant vector right there in red. Okay, so the other option is you could do, uh, you can add up vectors using the parallelogram method. And I'm going to take these two vectors here and put them right here. And instead of head to tail, you basically, it's tail to tail basically. So you put, you put them together right there. And instead of drawing that resultant vector like we did before, like this, that would not make sense. You actually draw in. Um, let's see, instead of drawing them, I'm going to use this technology. I'm going to hit Control D, which will duplicate that vector. And I'm going to move it over here. Then I'm going to do, you can do this with a pen and paper. I'm just enjoying the fact that I'm using this technology here. There we go. Now we have a parallelogram. And you do the same thing as before. You still start, start at the point where they met and draw that vector all the way over to where they end up. As you can see, we have a parallelogram. But in my opinion, um, this method here is a little bit unnecessary because we had to draw these extra lines in. And so you end up getting the exact same answer as what we got in this first question right here. And so basically, this is just a quick video to show you the difference between the parallelogram method and the head-to-tail method when you're adding up vectors, okay? Thank you.